So, like, this really ugly guy asked me about Gregory, who, like, thinks he's a wizard or something. Ew. So, yeah. I'm just gonna, like, I don't know what to say. Pause. So, this is a guy to where a really ugly and unpopular guy asks you out, but you're just really pretty and dress really pretty and you're really popular and you just, you just kind of feel sorry for him because, you know, he's a real nerd. So, don't feel sorry for him. And these are some tips to help you through it. Because, you know, it can be hard. Because if you're really pretty and you dress really pretty, like me, you're going to have a lot of people asking you out. Unpause. Yeah, so like here's how it went. Pause. So the first step to if a guy asks you out, a really ugly nerdy guy who's sweaty and fat and always has a red face and is just really unattractive is to just make yourself seem like more unattractive or something like that if that's possible and I know that's really hard because you're like really pretty and junk just make yourself you know feel just, just make yourself be unattractive I don't know how you're gonna do that but just try to do it unpause yeah so you know not fun oh. pause Pause. Now, step two is to get a really annoying sidekick. It's better if they're cheerleaders because no one wants an annoying sidekick to like follow them around and junk on first dates. Yeah, that's really annoying. So, make sure they're a cheerleader though because they're really preppy. That's a good thing. Hey, don't my legs look great in this mini skirt? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna get the salad at lunch today because um, the enchilada is full of fat. I know, they're like the calories are way, way too high. Yeah, so get the fat free dressing because, but don't put too much on it because sometimes like the fat free dressing isn't really fat free. And they just lie and say it isn't. So more people buy it. Yeah. So Disgusting. I know, right? Pause. The third step is to make sure that your annoying sidekick agrees with you on everything. Because that just makes him a lot more annoying. And no one likes someone who agrees with them all the time. I mean, you don't need to, like, be their mentor or something. They can follow me around like a lost puppy dog and agree with every single thing that I say forever for my whole entire life. No, didn't think so. Um, pause. So, yeah, I guess that sounds good for lunch. Yeah, so, do you think that that Gregory kid is... The wizard joke guy? Yeah. He asked me out, but I don't know if I should say yes, because I kind of feel sorry for him. Well, you don't have to say yes. He's not even popular. It doesn't matter what he is. I know, and I was like, ew. Yeah, like, totally, like, no, ew. Yeah, totally. Pause. Your fourth step is going to be to eat in front of the nerd a lot. Because if the nerd sees you eating like crackers or junk like that, that are really fat free. Make sure they're fat free though, because no one likes fat. But anyways, you have to make sure that the crackers look like they're full of fat, but they're not. This can also work with healthy cookies. Hello, Malia. How are you today? Good. What you eating there? Fat-filled crackers. Why? I thought you were scammy. Um, yeah, well, I like a lot of fat in my diet and a lot of sweets. 
and a lot of really yummy fat stuff. Okay, well, uh, I gotta go. Okay, bye. Pause. So, step five is to let them down, you know, easy. This is the final and last step because, well, you have to really let them down easy before you can do anything with them because if you don't let them down easy, it won't go that good. Hey girl, so what you gonna do about that gator kid? I don't really know. You gonna let him down? Um, yeah. You gonna let him down easy. Yeah. Don't say any harsh words, cause he'll cry. He's a nerd. Yeah. Pause. I lied. It's not the last step. I forgot one crucial step that you cannot forget. You have to get a really, really yappy purse dog because if it yaps all night and all day and then you always have it with you and have these pink little furry accessories and pink little furry person and you're obsessed over it, no nerd's going to want that unless they're like obsessed with dogs. Uh -huh. See ya! Oh my gosh, this is my new purse dog. <laughs> His name is Pinky, and I got him a bunch of purses and accessories to match his name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Pause. Now, it's finally time to show the nerd that you're not interested. And remember, let him down easy, or else it could get bad. Lilia, what's your answer? Um, get one. <laughs> See, you gotta let him down really easy. And if you don't, he'll probably, like, sit there and cry or, like, run down a hallway with a fake wand and threaten to put a curse on you forever and forever. But, you know, it's not all that real because, yeah, they're just nerds and they don't know anything. They're really unpopular. So, I hope this helped you get some tips with if a really ugly guy asks you out and you're really pretty like me. Bye.